Trying to find a good first person shooter on mobile without cheaters is hard but not impossible. Hey warriors I'm Ben and today on Android GameSpot I'll talk about my picks for the best mobile FPS games to play in 2020. And just a quick reminder before we begin, I publish new videos every week so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for everything mobile gaming. Number 10. Frag Pro Shooter Frag Pro Shooter is a hybrid between Overwatch, Quake Arena and Clash Royale. You play 5v5 matches and are randomly spawned as one of the 5 champions you select from your team and the goal is to move through a 2 lane battlefield and destroy your opponent's base. You're only controlling one of your team characters at a time while the rest of your team is played by the AI. There are over 30 champions to collect, the graphics in Frag are gorgeous and the maps are well designed in my opinion. Add to that the easy controls, fast and furious gameplay mechanics and smooth frame rate, and you got yourself a winner MOBA FPS. Highly recommend trying it. Number 9. Special Ops It doesn't take long playing Special Ops to realize that it really isn't special at all. The visuals of the game are nothing to be impressed about and the game lacks diversity in weapons and customization. But what Special Ops offer is a simple and basic Counter-Strike inspired game. The one and only mode Team Deathmatch is a 4v4 with 8 maps that are somewhat small but you don't find yourself running around for ages looking for enemies to shoot either. The controls are basic and I wish you could sprint and jump but it's not there. And I suspect bots in the multiplayer mode but I'm not 100% sure. Special Ops won't blow your mind, far from that actually. But it will give you a quick and basic team deathmatch shooter with adjustable graphic settings and an offline single player mode. Number 8. Shadow Gun Legends Apart from the repetitiveness of its missions in the single player campaign mode and the stability issues that some players have experienced with the game shutting down mid-mission, Shadowgun Legends has great graphics and fun gameplay mechanics, the controls are responsive and if you've ever played a shooter before, you would feel right at home here. As you level up, which happens quick, there will be plenty of ways you can customize your player with the constant loot the game throws your way. Online modes wise, there is a 1v1 mode, a 4v4 team deathmatch and raids which are called dungeons here. The dungeons are fun but really tough so you would need a squad with some experienced players and some time on your hands as they do require some time to complete. All in all, a decent attempt at an MMO shooter but expect some repetitiveness and glitches in online missions. Number 7. Morphit at first glance, Morphit has a few similarities with its console counterpart, No Man's Sky. It's a first person adventure where you get to travel through a galaxy packed with thousands of randomly generated planets, each with its own plants and creatures to discover and hostilities to shoot. But where No Man's Sky failed at release, Morphit succeeds, and I'm talking about the smaller scope that this game revolves around. Each planet you land on is a big large area rather than a massive planet, making the progression through the game much more manageable. And there is a story here that is very engaging and it works very well with the game's mechanics as you'll be scanning new plants and animals that you can later sell for money which you will use to upgrade your gear and weapons. It's fun and satisfying so no complaints there. Morphid doesn't have a multiplayer mode and it doesn't need one. You can play it offline and it's compatible with Bluetooth controllers. Plus, the graphics are gorgeous and the soundtrack is on point. This game absolutely deserves a spot in your game library. Number 6. Modern Combat 4 The downfall of the Modern Combat series by Gameloft started with the fifth game transition to the freemium model, and many still believe that the best game in the saga is Modern Combat 4, Zero Hour. As the multiplayer mode isn't as relevant now with the current MC5 and MC Versus, I will only be talking about the single player campaign here and it's easily one of the best FPS campaigns on mobile, period. The visuals are decent even 7 years after the game's release and the 12 missions of the story are a blast to experience, especially when you add the wide variety of maps, the quick time events and the many cinematic cutscenes that set the stage between levels and checkpoints and let's not forget about the great voice acting either. I could go on and on about Zero Hour but if you're looking for a decent story focused single player FPS and you haven't played this one yet, do yourself a favor and do it. Number 5. Nova Legacy 
Nova Legacy is Gameloft's answer to the Halo series on mobile and being a big Halo fan myself, I jumped on this from day one and enjoyed it right away. Nova Legacy is the remaster of the first game from the Nova Trilogy and yes, despite the game's graphics and content being actually behind some of the earlier Nova titles, this game doesn't take much space on your phone and brings in a decent sci-fi multiplayer experience for all those of us who can't afford the high-end big storage phones and that's a nice touch. You can customize your marine from skins to the accuracy of your sniper rifle and it also has a single player campaign that is totally playable offline. Plus, the deathmatch and team deathmatch modes are tons of fun. Number 4. Infinity Ops Infinity Ops is a sci-fi FPS that revolves around a futuristic universe and puts a bunch of modern weapons at your disposal, making it feel like a blend of Halo, Call of Duty and Overwatch. For starters, there is no single player campaign here, so if that's important to you, I would just skip this one. Instead, Infinity Ops is all about that multiplayer action and action it has plenty. The controls are solid and the matches are fun and very fast paced, thanks to maps that are well designed and scaled as it's not too big or too small, which leads to some quick, intense combat. The game also offers a wide range of playstyles with different loadouts that can be unlocked. Besides the ads during the loading screens and the occasional connection issue, Infinity Ops is an awesome game on mobile and one of the best shooters you can pick up today. Number 3. Forward Assault It has been over 2 years since Forward Assault came out and despite that, it is still worth downloading today and here is why. Forward Assault is heavily inspired from the Counter-Strike franchise. Once you start the game, you can practice against bots or play one of the 4 unranked modes, which are Bomb Diffuse, Team Deathmatch, Gun Game or Infected. There's also a ranked mode and custom matches. Combat-wise, the controls are tight and responsive and the matches are fast-paced and the difficulty level is a little higher than your average FPS on mobile, even in the unranked modes. As you can see, there's also lots of ways you can customize and upgrade your weapon, but one thing worth noting is that once you download the game and before you're able to play, you will be forced to register an account. It took less than a minute for me to do so, but they should remove this ASAP. Number 2. Standoff 2 Standoff 2 brings in some updated 3D graphics that are decent, especially in max settings, a multiplayer mode experience tailored after the glorious CSGO and lots of skins to customize your gear. The modes available are Arcade, Diffuse, Team Deathmatch, Arms Race and Sniper Duo. A competitive mode is unlocked at level 5 and this is the best mode in the game in my opinion. The games are timed and have esports type rules so it does raise the intensity of the matches. There's also a marketplace where you can buy and sell your custom skins, a ranking system where you get rewards based on how high you ranked up the leaderboard, a custom lobby for private matches and a clan system as well. Standoff 2 isn't perfect and comes with a few issues like the occasional lag and the occasional cheaters on higher levels. Also, the game could definitely use some more maps but as it is today, if you want a CSGO experience on mobile then Standoff 2 is for you. And before we continue, here are some upcoming FPS to add to your watch list and be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified about the latest videos. Number 1. Call of Duty Mobile 
We're getting near to the one year mark since COD Mobile has been released and there's been so many updates bringing new weapons, new skins, new maps, new game modes that this video would be way too long if I were to talk about all the new features. But briefly, Call of Duty Mobile sports some of the best graphics for an FPS on mobile, fast paced action and neat controls over many maps and game modes from the Call of Duty franchise as well as a battle royale mode playable from both a third person and first person camera and this is a highly well crafted game and the amount of content is nothing short of impressive. Plus, there's more on the way with the season 8 battle pass coming soon. And that sums up my picks for the best FPS games you can play on mobile in 2020. And I'm curious, do you have a favorite? Let's continue the discussion in the comment section down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, your likes are very much appreciated and subscribing is a good idea if you haven't yet, as I make new videos like this every week. Also, special thanks to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and if you also want to support my work, you can sign up for membership on Patreon or YouTube for as little as $1 and get access to exclusive badges and emojis, behind the scenes rewards or your name in the videos. So head over to patreon.com slash androidgamespot or check out the links in the description below. Once again, I'm Ben, thank you warriors for watching and I'll see you next time, right here on Android GameSpot. Stay epic! Yeah.